You asked a really good question. You want to know if you should receive the Tdap vaccine as recommended by your doctor and you're 28 weeks pregnant. And this is a recommendation that many doctors are giving now based on new recommendations that were released in 2013. Mothers should receive a Tdap vaccine shot during their third trimester because it's not for them, it's for the baby. They're receiving um, the vaccine and their body reacts to it, building up antibodies against um, tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis. And while the mother is pregnant with the infant, these antibodies are passed to them during that third trimester, and they are born with protection for, and this, this lasts for about two to six months after the baby's birth. Now, babies are most susceptible to becoming infected with pertussis during the first couple months of their life, and at that point, they're too young to receive their own vaccination, but the antibodies that they've been given um, through the placenta from their mother during pregnancy will help protect them until they can get their own immunity. Not only does a shot given to the mother during pregnancy help the baby because um, antibodies are transferred to the baby while during pregnancy, it helps to keep the mother from developing the infection after the baby's born. Studies have shown that 50% of babies who develop whooping cough got it from their mother. And so it's actually recommended that all mothers, fathers, grandparents, anyone that's going to spend a lot of time with or near a newborn baby should actually get a Tdap booster shot. And this again helps to protect everyone from getting it and ultimately protect the newborn. Studies on this topic have been ongoing for a while now, but perhaps it's been brought to the forefront in recent years because um, the number of children who are receiving vaccinations has gone down drastically. And with this, we have seen an increase in the number of whooping cough and measles cases, even in areas like Utah. Many people think that when they're choosing not to immunize their children, they're making an individual decision that won't affect anyone else, but actually that couldn't be farther from the truth. Um, the more people who choose to not immunize their kids, the more susceptible a whole community is to developing those illnesses that um, we haven't seen forever and that can actually be deadly, but thanks to immunizations, they in many cases have been eradicated until recent years when the rate of children who have been immunized has dropped significantly. When more people in the community aren't immunized than the very young and the very old or people who haven't received booster shots in recent years end up getting sick and it re-enters the population. And so again, this is why it's so important that mothers receive a Tdap vaccination in the third trimester of their pregnancy to protect their newborns. If you have more questions about it, don't hesitate to ask your OB provider. And if you have any other questions for me in the future, feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.